Hey guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Louie. I'm going to be doing a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please take what resonates, leave the rest. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, please check the description box below. All the information will be found there. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Okay, this is going to be a reading for August. Okay, so it's going to be a monthly. Let's see what we got going on for you guys. Again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. All right, um, let's see. Let's pull some of these island time wellness. All right, and see what we got going on. And the guys, spirit guide to good and light. Clear and precise messages for my aquas. All right, so you guys have girl talk showing up. So time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment and having fun. You guys are definitely transforming with the butterfly. I was about to say that. All right, so you're definitely transforming with this butterfly. Okay, you could have a new relationship that could be evolving to the next phase. All right, you're definitely going through some sort of transformation because you've healed um, some sort of inner child, okay, grow, some sort of inner child wound or something like that. Maybe you're out talking with friends and stuff like that. You guys needed to do that. All right, what else we got for my aqua? The phoenix. All right, so new phase, rekindle, renew transformation, growth, and changed mind. All right, so somebody might have a change of mind, a change of heart or something like that. But you're definitely going through a transformation. You are rising, the phoenix rising. What else we got? One more. All right, so you got the green ripper, reaper. All right, so the relationship is over. No second chances. Growth and transform your life. All right, so you guys have the healing heart. So you guys are definitely calling it quits for something that was in the past. Okay, you're moving on from this situation. Okay, and let's go ahead and clarify a little bit of this. I feel like this is something from the past. While you have been healing something from the past, here comes a new relationship of some sort. Okay, and you're going to be ready for it. All right, for some of you... You guys like to be single. You guys are liking the single life. All right, you guys are loners. All right, let's see. What do we got here? All right, yeah, living in the moment. All right, you guys are not forcing anything to happen. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay, with girl talk there, yeah, you're moving on. You're living in the moment. Some of you are in, like, in vacation mode. Okay, some of you definitely need to get some sun. All right, you're living in the moment here. What else we got? having fun some of you could be going on a like trip or something like that on a cruise with friends or something like that that could be significant all right somebody wants to pop the question okay so for some of you here there's a relationship that's evolving right to the next phase and they're going to pop some sort of question popping the question we'll clarify that it could be a proposal it could be something like um um a proposal of some sort but not like the question question i don't think it's the question question if it is the question question i just ruined somebody's surprise so my bad um here we have hustle somebody could do uber eats or somebody could be doing something um along those lines maybe this is your person or something like that uber eats all right but side hustle you guys are definitely going through a side you guys are definitely in a side hustle or something like that for some of you this is going to be like for some of you you're doing like side hustle picking up extra hours and stuff like that so you could go on a trip okay um for some of you here with the um with the phoenix rising and this side hustle some of you could just be going through a transformation at this time okay and you're like focused on work All right, yeah, coping with the Green Reaper. For some of you, you're putting an end to any type of addiction. All right, so what's this cope with the Green Reaper? I'm getting readings. All right, and too late. 
for some of you, this person could have been getting some sort of readings. They've been like waiting too long for you or waiting too long to come to you or something like that with the Green Ripper. So now you're calling it quits. Okay, they wasted too much of your time. All right, they wasted too much of your time. For some of you, you got some sort of reading and it's letting you know. All right, for some of you, you already know this. You're following your intuition. For some of you, you guys do tarot reading and you guys have some sort of like, um, you guys realize something. Okay, for some of you with the Green Reaper there, that's the death card, Scorpio energy, so transformation again. What's too late? I miss you. <laughs> yeah, it's too late. Now they miss you. Now they want to come into you and, and reach out to you. TL could be um a a initial. All right, what's this side hustle? What's side hustle? GPS. Side, Uber Eats with GPS. For some of you, you guys are gonna get some sort of side hustle. It might be like, you know what, I'm bored. I wanna meet new people, okay? I wanna get out of my comfort zone. So I'm gonna start like doing like DoorDash or Uber Eats, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing Lyft or something like that, that could be significant, all right, so, or that's what your person does, okay, somebody could be into, like, Uber Eats, or DoorDash, or, or does something with transportation, what's this, side hustle and GPS, workplace affair, For some of you, you're going to meet somebody like that. I always play around and I say, where am I going to meet somebody? DoorDasher or um, the Amazon Prime person or something like that? Because I never go out. I'm always in the house. Okay, so it's kind of like I'm a homebody. So some of you are getting out of that. All right. But um, for some of you, you can meet somebody and it's going to be some sort of like a new relationship or something like that. Let's pop the question. Pop the question with secluded, separation, reflecting, soul searching. What's pop the question with secluded, separation, reflection? For some of you here, there could be somebody that really wants to pop the question, okay, but you don't know this person too much, okay, or something like that. So I'm just picking up here. Somebody's going to say no. Okay, because, yeah, you're moving on from something. For some of you, there could be a person coming back in to pop this question, but you're, like, saying no, all right? And you might feel like shit afterwards because you're telling this person no. This person could be good, but there's separation, reflecting, and soul-searching. So you guys have still been doing some sort of soul-searching, okay? You feel like shit here, all right? The person could be feeling like shit. Whoever um, was rejected in this situation could be feeling like shit. All right, that's not for all of you. What's living in the moment, girl talk? So you guys are single. You guys are like living in the moment. Okay, legal matters. Divorce, criminal, paternity, child support, traffic tickets. What's this? Living in the moment with legal matters. I feel like things are balanced for you because that legal matters came out in the reverse. Okay, yeah, running. So somebody could be running from their legal matters and you're just kind of like living in the moment. All right, for some of you here, you're saying, fuck it. I'm not gonna pay for this. I'm not gonna pay for that. Let it go to court. Let it do whatever the fuck it needs to do. And you're just kind of like running away from your, your bills or something like that. This is getting bankruptcy here. Somebody could be filing for bankruptcy. This is not for everybody. Or somebody is just kind of like thinking about that. Just kind of like leave, running. If you have legal matters, just leave them behind. Just kind of like you're just running away from something. All right, yeah, your true colors are starting to show or somebody's true colors are starting to show. All right, for some of you, these people, um, are watching you le living the the life, okay? They thought that you were gonna have some sort of like legal matters, but that came out in the reverse. So you're happy, okay? And they're still showing their true colors here. What's true colors? Right, yeah, because they're heartbroken. 
There could be somebody divorcing here. Or somebody running away from a divorce. Okay, because they're very heartbroken. HB could be an initial, right? Yeah, and you're very spiritual. You're going through some sort of transformation, I'm telling you. Um, chaos, ego death, downward spiral, spiritual and awaken, awakening of some sort. You're going through an awakening of some sort here. And all these things are really not going to matter. Once your ego is dead, okay, that's when you're very spiritual. Because you're not letting anything really bother you. Once you've healed, and it's, once you've healed, it doesn't bother you anymore. Once you haven't, if it's something that you still haven't healed for from, it's going to continue bothering you. All right, so somebody has some sort of secret account, okay, so they're trying to spy on you. I'm getting, like, somebody is, like, putting music. Now, say, for example, what is that? Um, there's, like, that app, the green app for music. Uh, Spotify, I think it's Spotify, yeah. And they could like send music to you and you could send music to them or something like that. Or you guys are like friends or something like that with secret accounts. But these are like music songs that are coming up. So somebody could be like sending music to you or you could be like putting in a, in a playlist this song. But this song means something towards this person. So if you guys are doing that, that's very hard to get away from this. This is not going to be a transformation for you. Okay, the Green Ripper is like, you need to go ahead and cut it. You need to go ahead and end it. For some of you, you guys are still stuck doing this kind of stuff, all right? Or this person is, that's kind of like, um, that's not healthy, that's toxic. Freedom from toxic relationships, so healing heart. Freedom from toxic relationships, all right? Healing from a heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction, all right? For some of you, this is like an addiction. This person could be an addiction, okay? It's like a demon that you can't face down, I heard. That's from, like, Kelly Clarkson's song. Um, somebody could be listening to Kelly Clarkson, right? Somebody doesn't want no strings, okay? For some of you, this is you who doesn't want any strings because you guys are not expecting anything from anybody anymore. Okay, so sweet talk, right? When you get the sweet talk, love message, self-love, all right? So you guys are self-loving yourselves, sweet talk. Yeah, huh, I'm I'm inspired. Okay, there there could be like people like love messaging you or something like that. And yeah, it's okay. But at the end of the day, you're not expecting anything. When you lose your expectations, you won't get disappointed. And maybe that's what you guys are kind of like doing. Is that completely healthy? No, but it's a good way to cope, I guess, because you have cope showing up. So let's expose some people. Angel guys, spirit guys, are living like for my Aqua Summon Rising Venus and North Node. What is going on here? What is going on here? Angel guys, spirit guys, give me three cards. What's going on for my Aquas? One, two, all right, and then three. All right, altering your values and morals on making life decisions. So that's where you're at right now. You guys are altering your life morals, making life decisions. They're different. Okay, fresh woodsy smell cedar. All right, somebody could live on Cedar Lane. Somebody could live, I used to live in a place called Cedar Lane. But anyway, cedar could be significant. Fresh woodsy smell. Cleanse the new home of its old energies, unwanted spirits, while inviting fresh energetic vibes and protecting the occupants. All right, you cut them off, but they're still watching in the bottom of the deck. And you got here causing unexplained body pain and numbness. All right, so you guys could have some sort of like body pain or numbness or something like that. It's part of your awakening. Okay, so um, for some of you, if you have body pain and numbness, like go to the doctor. Okay, go to the hospital. Um, what is this causing unexplained body pains and numbness? Your significant other sending you negativity. All right, so for some of you, remember, this is all spiritual. If you guys have, use your common sense. If you have, like, left-sided weakness, or if you have, like, um, body pain and numbness in your arm and shit like that, uh, go to the hospital. You probably are having a stroke. So, um, this is kind of like a spiritual thing. Tarot is spiritual. So, this is, like, spiritual warfare. All right, so, what is this causing unexplained yes yeah, a significant other or somebody that you were with that's sending you some sort of negativity or that could be your significant 
the person that your significant other was with or something like that somebody's sending you some sort of like negative energy right the person causing you negativity is an air sign aquarius libra gemini for some of you all right for some of you it's yourself all right this could be yourselves kind of like causing some sort of negativity on yourself you are your worst enemy i just heard there's a card here that says that what's this person person causing negativity is an air sign all right they talk about you behind your back all right so this could be another aquarius for some of you all right blackmail digging dirt up on you to use later all right somebody could have taken like a photo of you or something like that to use later oh look bitch you were this drunk or something like that you know and here is here's the proof for some shit like that you know what i mean if you have friends that are doing that to you they're not your friends okay those are haters those are people that are disgusting those are people that yeah they could take pictures of you when you're at your lowest when you're very vulnerable but yeah share it with you and then delete it but those that keep that shit digging up dirt and then they're gonna use on it use it later okay and i know people that have done that shit okay so yeah that's fucked up all right a trickster spirit somebody has some sort of trickster spirit on them sudden loss of memory things are and things end up missing All right, you got here causing you to lose out and, and lose opportunities all right so for some of you they're using sunflowers which is ochum it could be something that has to do with like um love and romance it could be like some sort of love um spell okay but i see you guys being by by like you're gonna have vitality okay causing you to miss out and, uh, and lose an opportunity i don't believe that's gonna happen for you guys because you know how to transmute this energy now right if you guys need to do a return to sender there's videos on my page how to do a return to sender okay so let's see here yeah they're envious of your money and your career whatever it is that you got going on they're watching you they're watching what you got going on okay and they're envious of the money that you make probably because you don't have to do much because you studied because you're smart because you smart because you work smarter not harder one more this is with sudden loss of memory and things up yeah they're recruiting haters so there's a lot of evil eye on you so some of you you need to go ahead and like take away like kind of like do a return to sender all right their social media memes or posts are toward directed towards you for some of you all right let's go ahead into the tarot and let's go ahead and see what's going on here and you guys very good to go to the light clean and precise messages from my aquas All right, let's see what's going on for the month of August for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, current situation, all right, you're in the nine of, you guys are single, all right, you guys are self-made, you guys are not codependent on anybody, okay, if you're alone, you're okay being alone, Virgo energy, all right, nine of pentacles, you guys are enjoying life by itself, on itself all right what's the blockages for the month of august what are what are going to be the blockages for aquarius month of august so the strength card confidence has something to do with it don't force anything okay so you have to have the strength and the courage to move on leo energy showing up here with the strength card all right you see how she's taming the lion's mouth here somebody's not speaking up or not saying somebody something and you need to have the strength and the courage to say something all right this is talking about persistence inner power as well all right that's also talking about confidence for some of you you need um a little confidence booster with the strength card i feel like you feel like you're losing control of a situation too okay but you're not you're just not speaking up on it okay so what is on your mind what's on your foundation i mean i'm sorry in the foundation all right for some of you you're dealing with a leo and that's your blockage 
All right, in the foundation, you have the seven of pentacles. You're finally going to see the roots, the fruits of your labor. All right, this talks about patience. You've been patiently waiting on something to happen. Okay, seven could be significant, seven years. What's in the recent past? What's in the recent past for my Oculus, Sun, Rising, Venus, and North Node? You got justice showing up, so balancing things out, Libra energy. All right, if you guys did have something with the justice system, that's in the past now, so legal path um some sort of legal problem but i feel like this is you balancing your life out okay because you're going through all these transformations what is um on your mind what's on your mind what are you guys thinking about all right you got the hermit isolation all right you're going within virgo energy all right you got one two three major arcana showing up so you guys are doing some sort of inner health inner work okay you guys are definitely in solitude going within become a hermit um but you're seeking some sort of spiritual enlightenment while you're doing that for some of you this could be like somebody who ghosted you okay or something or ghosting a situation you could be thinking about ghosting a situation but we're going to clarify it what is in the near future what's in the near future for aquarius someone rising venus and north node you got the lovers okay so a reun uh union of some sort a partnership of some sort okay is divinely guided with the lovers gemini energy all right, what is on, what's hidden? What's hidden that my Aquarius don't see yet? All right, the truth. All right, something is hidden, some sort of truth. You're getting some sort of breakthrough. You're getting some sort of clarity. For some of you, you're speaking up your truth. Okay, you're speaking your truth. All right, what's in your environment? What's in your environment for Aquarius, Summon Rising, Venus, and North Node? All right, the Queen of Swords, you're cutting people off left and right. You guys are in this energy. You guys are kind of like very analytical, very logical. You're like, come at me, bro. I'm going to cut you. I'm going straight for the jugular. All right, this could be an attorney of some sort as well. Queen of Swords. I feel like that's you. What is the outcome? What is the outcome? The moon. Some sort of deceit, what's hidden comes to light. Okay, for some of you, you guys are saying something in your environment, all right? And something is coming to light. A cancer in your outcome could be significant. All right, let's go ahead and clarify and see what's going on. What is this that? Eh, in a second, guys. Yeah. Easier axis. Okay, let's use this one. Angel guys, fairy guys, so good little lights for... No, I'm going to use that one. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right. You guys could be very indecisive. This also talks about a choice, okay? So you might have to choose between two, all right? And then you have here the four of wands with the ten of uh, cups. This could be family or something like that. But let's see. Angel guys, fairy guys, so good little light for my aqua, sun, moon, rising, venus, and there's no clear and precise messages. We're going to use this deck to clarify. What is this Nine of Pentacles? Nine of Pentacles. What is the Nine of Pentacles in the current energy? All right. Three of Wands. You guys see foresight. You guys could be like self-made. You guys could be building something. You're looking at your ships. Okay. So you're waiting on your ships to come in to make some sort of like um, decision. This talks about expansion and growth. Okay, so this is definitely you guys being self-made with the Nine of Pentacles. Good job. What's the Nine of Pentacles with the Three of Wands? All right, for some of you, you guys had to set some sort of healthy boundaries and you needed to defend yourself. Okay, and that is where the tower came in. Okay, so the tower doesn't necessarily have to be a bad tower. I feel like this is a good tower. All right, things crumble down in your life in order to put you in this position where you're alone, where you're kind of like single, okay, where you are not procrastinating because if you're with somebody, you pay attention to them, okay? The Nine of Pentacles is very self-sufficient, okay? So this tower had to happen. It was set in a faulty foundation. This tower had to happen so that you guys could feel this way, so that you guys don't have to be codependent on anybody, okay? So... With the tower showing up there and the seven of wands, yeah, you needed to protect yourself, all right? So you defended yourself and you're in that nine of pentacles right now. So what's the strength card? The strength card under a blockage, 
the strength card under a blockage could be like internal conflicts this is like confidence related as well somebody could have done some sort of like number on your confidence and now you feel like you're inadequate or you cannot find love or something like that not the case okay that's just something in your mind with the confidence okay with the blockage yeah look two of cups all right a partnership you guys are not confident when it comes to relationships anymore For some of you, this is ego and pride. Okay, so the blockage, why there's a union not coming together, it's because of ego and pride. You guys could be in that kind of ego and pride because I know people, I know Aquariuses are like that too, All right? If you don't call me, I'm not gonna call you kind of energy. But in this case, the blockage with the two of cups here is because of pride and ego, clarify. You guys could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Leo. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. All right, Page of Wands in the reverse. You're not even letting anything come out of anything. Okay, it's almost like, yeah, you like the person, but then there's something that just turns you off. Page of Wands in the reverse. Page of Wands in the reverse also talks about bad news. Could be bad news. Delays. All right. For some of you, this is your delay is like your ego. For some of you. All right, with this um strength card and that page of wands in the reverse. I don't know. It's like feeling disappointed. I feel like this is going back to what I was saying earlier. I feel like you guys are not giving anything a chance because for what? You're gonna get disappointed at the end of the day. So you're not even expecting anything. And when you least expect it, something good is gonna happen. Okay, what's the seven of seven of pentacles? What's the seven of pentacles? You got double seven, seven, seven. 77 could be significant. You guys could be seeing that. What else we got? Seven of pentacles here. What is the seven of pentacles? Yeah, somebody feels like they had some sort of missed opportunity with you. Okay, this is like rejection for some of you. You could have felt rejected by this person. All right, for some of you, you're bored of something. What's this four of cups with the four with the seven of pentacles? You're tired of waiting. All right, you had enough patience. What is this? For some of you, you guys have been waiting for years. All right, what is this four of pentacles with the seven of pentacles? I mean, the four of cups with the seven of pentacles family ten of cups happy home all right you've been patiently waiting for this all right and it's still not giving so remove it from your life and let it go for some of you it could be family some of you need to like set some sort of healthy boundaries okay what is it give me one more for the seven of pentacles with the ten of cups in the reverse Page of Cups. Page of Cups. A small offer. There could have been an apology, but it was insincere for some of you. For some of you, this person... I feel like somebody was trying to get too creative, trying to come back to you or something like that, and they lost an opportunity here. All right. For some of you, your creativity is about to pop up again, okay? If you had some sort of like blockage or something like that, your creativity is about to go again, all right? You're gonna get something off the ground, okay? With the 10 of pentacle, ten of cups, all right, in the reverse, that could be like you having to set certain boundaries with family and stuff like that so that you could get your creativity off the ground, okay? So somebody could be in regret, all right? Because that four of cups with this uh, cup from the page is like the five of cups so somebody's in regret they could have had a family with you they could have had a great life with you but they were too busy focus on on the stupid shit on their pride and evil all right for some of you i'm talking to you guys um smash the like button <laughs> all right what's the justice what's the justice in the recent past Justice in the recent past with the Nine of Swords. Okay, Nine of Swords talks about anxiety. Anxiety, 
panic okay you couldn't sleep at night something was keeping you up okay with the nine of swords in the reverse how it came don't give up on something there's something that's coming to a close okay for some of you you were like very something that had to do with like balancing something out or your legal system or something like that could be significant things are getting better all right nine of swords in the reverse it's almost like you're gonna be able to sleep now your worries are gonna be gone okay so you're letting things go you're not in your head too much all right give me one more for the justice and the nine of swords in the reverse all right somebody could have caught got caught stealing something okay aquarius for some of you you guys kept something to yourself okay that's okay to keep shit to yourself all right with the seven of swords that's aquarius energy for some of you here there could be somebody here that's been stealing sleep okay stealing your sleep stealing your your time by taking like trying to unbalance your life okay it could be through like evil eye energy or something like that seven of swords is conniving energy is deceit so for some of you here in the recent past you're balancing out some sort of like situation where somebody could have slandered your name or something like that and you're letting that shit go doesn't even matter don't speak by no doubt is on is on all right so don't speak give me this hermit what's the hermit what's the hermit on your mind don't speak you, some of you don't even want to speak <laughs> and then the eight of wands all right you guys don't want to speak you guys are ghosting a situation or something like that you guys don't want to speak all right um there could be some sort of like travel or something like that but you had the hermit there some of you could have blocked this person could be a virgo aries leo sag what's the hermit with eight of wands you guys are definitely um going through some sort of an awakening here self-introspection what's the eight of wands with the hermit all right for some of you here this person ghosted you and now they're going to reach out to you yeah two of swords they're trying to choose they're trying they want to they want a truce okay this could be a truce because you guys have been in a stalemate all right this is blindfolded with the ability to remove that blindfold and see things for what they truly are but choosing not to a decision needs to be made again this is also about balancing something somebody wants to balance something out with you however your heart chakra could be blocked all right or communication could be blocked because look it's almost like communication coming and you're like mm -mm, i don't even see it for some of you you guys are going to see it and say i didn't even see it that was a dream what's the lovers in the near future what's the lovers in the near future let's see the lovers in the near future with the temperance in the reverse the temperance talks about balance okay bringing things into moderation for some of you here with the temperance in the reverse you guys could be doing a little bit too much of something okay you need to do things in moderation all right so the temperance sagittarius energy okay so um lack of balance impatience overindulgence reckless in some sort of um situation what's this lovers with this with the temperance that's the truth ace of swords you're getting some sort of breakthrough clarity you're getting some sort of like um truth that you've been waiting on some of y'all need to cut the cords okay because i'm getting the temperance in the reverse with this sword here and then the lovers in the near future you guys could be cutting the cords uh energetic cords to someone all right some of you could be like earth angels here what's the lovers eight of pentacles yeah you want to somebody wants to work on something with you now okay and you don't want to speak to them or something like that 
they have to come with the truth. For some of you, you're going to choose not to be with this person anymore. Even though you know this is your twin flame or something like that, you know that you need to separate. You need to let this person go, Ho. Eight. Yeah, because look, there's deceit. Okay, they could have put you in a third party. Deceit, betrayal, jealousy. Okay, for some of you here, I'm also picking up here that you need to control your jealousy or balance that out in order to have a good relationship. All right, you've been hurt too many times before and betrayed too many times before and you've been working on something. All right, now you're able to have a new relationship with the lovers, okay, because you've learned your lesson. All right, what's this Ace of Swords under Hidden? The Page of Swords. You're getting some sort of breakthrough clarity, okay? Somebody is definitely watching what you got going on, okay? But the Page of Swords could also be like studious. Like you could be learning something new, all right? Or you could be saying some sort of truth here. And then the Five of Pentacles. What's this Five of Pentacles? Being left out in the cold. Whoever did the leaving out in the cold is regretful, okay? They're coming in with some sort of truth. Somebody left somebody out in the cold. This is like ghosting energy. Okay, what is this uh, Five of Pentacles? With the Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords. For some of you here, um, you're about to regain everything that you've lost. With the world, all right? Online, they could see you online. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio energy. Page of Swords, somebody's stalking you online. All right, for some of you, they're getting some sort of truth. And let's say, for example, you could say something online, okay, because this is online. This also talks about traveling, okay, so some of you could be going to travel. But if you guys are speaking something online, you had some sort of con conclusion, some sort of um, uh, completion here, okay, you feel fulfilled. And that's the truth, all right, and they see that, and now they're being left out in the cold, okay. For some of you, this is like somebody who wanted to do a smear campaign or something like that, but you showed the people that they told to watch you, you showed them wrong. For some of you, you guys are in the public eye doing something, or you're speaking out your truth, then it's definitely in your environment. Okay, so it could be at work, it could be at your house, it could be somewhere like that. What's this Queen of Swords in your environment? What's the Queen of Swords in your environment? I don't know what I feel like that's you. Mm. Seven of Cups. What's the Queen of Swords with the Seven of Cups? All right, yeah, the Six of Pentacles. For some of you in your environment, if you guys are dating or something like that, you're cutting off anything that brings in confusion, okay? You might have a lot of options, but you don't want any of them, okay? Some of you don't even want love right now. You guys are focused on what you need to be focused on, which is career or your money, your pentacles. Okay, because without wealth, without wealth, all right, there is no, without health, there is no wealth. So some of you could be like thinking about your health, okay, with the hermit on your mind. Okay, if you guys have been thinking about going to like the doctor or something like that, go. Okay, if you guys have been feeling bad, go to the doctor. The hermit is a doctor, okay, so psychiatrist, but it's still a doctor. So, anybody that's coming in with some sort of offer or something like that, you're cutting them off because you're in this Queen of Swords energy. And you might have a lot of options, but if they cause confusion and they don't want to give you an equal give and take and it's not reciprocal, it's not going to be a balanced thing, right? If, if it's not like that, you don't want it, right? 67 could be significant. 76 could be significant. What's the move? What? Give me one more. So I'm also picking up, this could be a couple of things. I'm picking up a couple of stories. So also there's somebody here that's coming in. Okay. And they're going to, oh, I'm ready to give to you now, but it's all confusion. It's to keep you back in this confusion, hallucination, the Lulu. Okay. Delusional. All right. This person's delusional. What's this queen of swords? With the six of pentacles and the seven. All right. Queen of Swords with the Queen of Swords, that's you again. 
All right, somebody could be in the same sex connection. But yeah, they want to collaborate. They want to work with something. They want to work on something with you now. Okay, could be another Aquarius. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Bubble Queen of Swords. I feel like you guys are going to cut. You guys are just cutting people. Block party. Block, block, block. You're very logical right now. Nothing could come between you and what your purpose is. Okay, you're very, very logical. You're carrying a crown of butterflies. Talk about transformation. Okay, transforma butterflies signify transformation. And that's one of the cards that came out in the very beginning, the butterfly. You're going through the transformation. Okay, relationship is evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, because you've been healing your inner child. Okay, what is this? Um, the moon. The moon with the four of pentacles, Capricorn energy. What's the moon with the four of pentacles? Somebody's holding on to you and not letting go, right? Or somebody's holding on to some sort of like lie or some sort of secret. Okay, but I feel like it's coming out, right? With the hair font, it could be like carried out through like um, an institution or something like that. With the six of six of uh, cups, there's somebody from your past. Something from your past is coming back around. I've been saying that it's been coming up, right? Whatever this is is a lie, and you're cutting it off. Somebody could have gotten like a. Give me one more for the Hierophant and the, and the Six of Cups and this moon. Somebody could have gotten like a, a reading or something like that from a Hierophant, from from a male tarot reader or something like that. Somebody, maybe even a fucking pastor could have said something like that. Something like that. Any, anyway, whatever they're getting, they went, they got information from this person. This person gave them information. Okay, it was bad information. It was lies. It was deceitful. This person, this person could have had something. Um, could have liked this person or something like that. That could be significant. What's the hair font with the moon and the six of cups? It's family. They went to family, and they gave up. They're like, slow down. Take your time, okay? Take your time, slow down, do your thing, okay? There's There could be some sort of an inheritance that's coming in, okay? That could be the deceit. What's this 10? Mm -mm. I feel like this is like family or this could be like an institution of some sort, okay? With the Knight of Pentacles there. This is like lazy, stagnant energy. What's this Knight of Pentacles? right the devil could be a capricorn so yeah somebody's very obsessed with you but family came first okay so they had to like ask for permission to family okay it could be a cancer here they had to ask permission to family to reach out to you or to like a pastor or something like that because now they're like super religious or some shit like that okay um let's see what we got here the guys fair guys your precise messages for my aquas. All right, so it says here divine lineage. All right, Sour Lakali number six. All right, your lineage is stepping in. Okay, this could be your ancestors as well. I was looking for the book and I couldn't find it, but I knew I was going to find it. This is like Yamaya energy, you guys. All right, so Yamaya, the goddess of the ocean. Okay, so it says here the element is water, the temple's ancestors, goddess of divine lineage, Romani, Egypt. All right, so get great ancestress Sarah Lakali means Sarah the Black was the Egyptian prophet, the prophetess, and the patron saint of the Romani people. Oral history says that Saint Sarah had the highest divine lineage. So you guys are very divine right now. You guys follow your intuition, okay? Nothing is gonna come in and interrupt your peace. The number six signifies harmony.
peace and harmony okay so you guys are in harmony all right it says here your ancestors protect your protect the holy grail the holy grail is you divine ones walk beside and within you trust trust in your divine count your divine um ancestors nobody could fuck with you all right something about the waves when the waves when you're dreaming about waves and they're coming in big that's like something big coming for some of you these waves that are coming in are coming in for your people for those people that have been fucking you over and doing you wrong okay so your ancestors want to remind you that you are not alone they are rooting for you they ask you to honor your spirit guides and call upon the power of the divine create or nourish your ancestor altar and shrine or shrine unbury your ancestors speak their names your divine lineage ancestors may be the blood related culturally or spiritually connected so you guys could have like family members that could be into the occult into tarot into stuff like that and you're kind of like it's in your blood so it's running in your blood all right i am a i am my sister and my sister is me okay so for some of you sister i am my sister and my sister is me so for some of you this could be like somebody's sibling okay whatever this person's sibling says is what they do okay is what i just heard give me one second guys let me just pick up really quick and then i'm gonna pull some more i don't know which right which route i want to go probably money finance let's do that All right, so what is going on with my Aquarius and money and finances? I'm trying to look for the deck. Oh, here it is. It's right in front of me. Guys, it's been a tough week. Rough week. All right, so let's go ahead and see. What do we got? For money and career for my Oculus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for the month of August and precise messages you got public face some of you need to go on a public face some of you it's your confidence that's lacking and you need to be more confident and go public with something okay so follow your heart become who you want to earn or become who you want to be earn a reputation it's okay to be yourself for some of you don't dim your light in order to fit in especially where you work at because you could be the public face for that place or something like that okay so what else do we got for my audience all right, so you got here a perfect fit. You're going to be a perfect fit for something or you are the perfect fit for something. For some of you, it's your energy and your charisma and your charm that makes you a perfect fit for something. You're finding the right path, the, the perfect fit with the soul, the ideal job. You're meant to be here. All right, star power. Okay, so that's you guys, Aquarius. Become an influencer of the company, earn fame, popularity, step into the spotlight. You guys are meant to shine. Aquariuses are meant to shine, okay? We're stars, all right? So for some of you, you need to be in the public eye. You need to go ahead and step into the spot in the spotlight, okay? You're supposed to be on the spotlight, all right? Fast changes are coming in. As soon as you go ahead and you step into that spotlight, fast changes will be coming in. Things happen suddenly in a short period and in a hurry. Take bold steps forward. So bold steps, it requires you to have confidence, Okay, it requires you to end things that no longer serve you. Okay, so. What else we got for Aqua? Someone rising to this north now. What do we got for Aqua? Commitment. Somebody wants to have a commitment with you. Things are getting serious. Okay, you could be... Like I said, do not try to force something to happen. If it happens, it happens. If you guys are dating right now, okay, it's almost like, look, there could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn is in the reverse. Okay, they want a commitment with you. Things are getting serious. What's this earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn? Let go. For some of you, you need to let go of this Virgo Taurus Capricorn earth sign. Okay, so that you could have a commitment come in. All right, make room for new, the new beginnings that is on this way to you. All right, so some of you need to let go of this earth sign. All right, open up your heart. It will help you attract the love, more love. Okay, so for some of you, you need to open up because you're not letting anybody in. So that's what I got for you guys. I hope you like your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. All right, um... Sending you love and light. Have a great weekend, people.